Hey guys, this is uh, Nathan Parker. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to use the bone tool in uh, Flash. So let's, uh, let's get started. So open up Flash, click on Flash File Action Script 3. Now you want to start out with the line tool. You can click it or you can press N. I'm going to Increase my stroke so it's easier to see for you guys, but you guys can do whatever you want. First, that's going to be your left leg. So once you have that done, put the selection tool, select all of it. You can right click and copy, or you can press Command C on a Mac or Control V or Control C on a Windows PC, and you want to paste it. And do not make new layers for this, there's no point. So, once you paste it, you want to go to Modify, Transform, and you want to go to Flip Horizontal. Now you want to take it and drag it over so that the top of it, once you see those two lines that are showing that it's aligned perfectly, you want to let go. Now, put the line tool again, or press N. And you want to make the body. So just make a line going straight up. Uh, take your selection tool, uh, paste the first light that we made once again, and we can use this for the arm. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, free transform tool and I'm going to rotate it just once, just a little bit, so that it will uh, look a little bit better. You want to put it. So it's a little bit in the body, like right around there. And now you can paste it again and modify, transform, flip horizontal, transform tool, put it over once, and align it again. So I'm just going to use my keys to move it. Okay, so once you have this, now what you need is the head. So you want to Hold the you want to left click with your mouse, hold it down, drop down menu will come up, you want to click the oval tool, or you can press the uh, O key on your keyboard, and you make the head. Make sure it connects to the body too. Alright, there's your stick man. So now what you want to do is you want to select all, so just left click on the mouse, drag over all the uh, all the uh, components and let go. Now what you want to do is go to the bone tool or you can click X on the keyboard. I'm going to zoom in so it's easier to see for you guys. Okay, so now uh, what you want to do is you want to make uh, the first pivot point where you want to start off. First pivot point that you make when you hold down that first point is going to be where everything rotates around it. So to say, if I put, if I put it here, when, if I try to move the head, it would actually move every part, all the legs and arms and stuff, around that head. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to put it right about here, and then you want to drag down to the knee, let go, drag down to the foot, and let go. Do it for both sides. Try to get them equal too, so it doesn't look funny. Right down, let go, make the body right up to the shoulders. So, as you can see, I'm making the, uh, the pivot points where you actually want your joints are in your body, obviously. So, you can uh, animate this little guy. Put the selection tool now. Alright, now you'll notice that once we're all done, there's now a new layer armature one. So that is where you can animate all the uh, stick name. You'll notice that layer 1 is now empty. This is because that it converted this whole stick man into a symbol. That's something that you never want to do is uh, when you're using the bone tool, never make a symbol and then try to put it in bones because it just won't work. So, now what you can do is within the timeline, say you can click the 15th frame, insert pose. Now you'll see that there's a keyframe there. Now you can quit the guy with the uh, selection tool. And if you want, you can make whatever kind of uh, 
action that you want him to do or movement or whatever. So say you want him to put his arm up like that. You want to put this arm up like that. And you want to make it look like he's falling or something. There you go. So you just move all the points where you want. And you'll notice when you go back to the start, and if you press enter, that your animation will play through. And uh, now, as you can see, see that little white spot right there? I'll be showing how to uh, get rid of this, like make it so it's all smooth and so that this doesn't happen, the curves and the neck doesn't do whatever it's doing. And yeah, so that's it for this one. So that's the basics of the bone tool. Uh yeah, thanks and subscribe.